this. Okay guys, before I get started, I actually thought that I filmed this earlier, but my camera was not recording. So what I did was I took three different books, three different sizes. Let's say this is the medium size and I had a larger size and a smaller size. And what I did was remove the cover from each one of the books. Then I took some Mod Pods, and you guys have seen me do this before if you've seen the other DIY where I use books. Right, so I have Mod Pods in this container. And all I did was put some Mod Podge inside the book, right there in the crease, on the inside of the cover, or you can do this page as well. Close that and then did the opposite side the same way. Close it and then I glued the pages together as well. I held the book closed and then brushed the Mod Podge onto the pages. And you simply just put something heavy on top of the book that'll hold it closed. If you see any seeping out, just smooth it out. So I did three books this way, small, medium, and large. I let them dry and then moved on to the next step, which we'll see now. Okay everyone, it's a few days later and we are back to our book DIY. And these are the different sizes. Again, I glue them all together with Mod Podge. Next, I'll use Gorilla Glue to glue all three books together. I'm gonna put some glue on this book and glue it down to the larger book. This is the medium book. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over. You want the bottom to be even. And I kind of want this to be in the center. Okay? Just like that, you want that even at the bottom. You want to be able to show the different height difference at the top. And I'll show you that once everything dries. All right, so now I'm going to glue this one in the center. Again, it's going to be even at the bottom. So I'm just going to flip this over because I want this side to be glued down. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this glue out that seeped out on the side. So now I'm going to put some weight on top and this is quite heavy. I'm going to let this completely dry. So while the glue is setting up on these books, I'm going to go ahead and take this elephant that I purchased from Dollar Tree quite a while ago. You can use any elephant that you want. Dollar Tree still has those regular plastic elephants. I have a collection of those in my closet somewhere for sure. So I might do a giveaway on some of those elephants because there's quite a few of them. Um, I had two of these initially, but Aiden, my grandson, broke one. <laughs> so now we are left with one of these sets of books, which is fine. So now I'm gonna take this elephant outside and spray paint it silver. Okay, as you can see, my books are all bonded together. Everything is glued closed. So now what I'm gonna do is go outside and spray paint each and every one of these books silver, including the bottom. So once I do that, I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is what the books look like, all painted silver. Before, in a previous DIY, when I did table decor and I made a set of bookends, I used glitter on the pages. This time around, I'm gonna use some silver leaf and some glitter, so. I think I'll put silver leaf on the bottom book, the top book, and then put glitter on the middle book. Okay, so I have some silver leaf adhesive in a container right here, and I'm just gonna take this brush and brush it on. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to set up for about 30 minutes, and then I'll come back and add the silver. Okay, the adhesive is tacky, but it's not sticking to my fingers, so it's ready. So I'm gonna take my silver leaf, and I'll link it below in the description if you want to use it. So I'm going to take the leaf and put it right up against the book and just pat it on. You can also apply it with your finger. 
and just rub it on. Same thing with the side. So I'll let this dry, then come back and add a second layer. Okay, the paint is completely dry on my elephant. So now I'll brush the Mod Podge and glitter mixture onto my elephant as well. Okay, here's what it looks like. I also put the glitter mixture on the top of the books as well. So now what I want to do is decorate each book. Of course I can decorate the top of this one because it's on the top and then I'll do the spine on these as well. First thing I want to do is do the top one in mirror tile. So I have my mirror tile here and I want to measure it. Measure and cut. So here I see I need to take off this much. Alright, so now we have our top book cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Next up, I have the silver bling that I found on Amazon.com and I'll link it below. And I'm going to add it to the very bottom book because it's like the perfect size. So now I'm going to take some Dollar Tree Fix All and I have a popsicle stick. And I'm just going to put some glue right on the back of the book. I'm just going to put this right on top of the glue. So now I'm going to take a row of this flower bling that I found on Amazon.com and put it right in the center. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue it on the back just like so. Okay, just like that. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, because this edge is sharp here, I'm going to trim this with regular bling wrap. Again, I'm gonna take some more of my Dollar Tree Fix All, open it, put some on my popsicle stick, and put some right on the edge. It's a cleaner look if you use glue rather than hot glue. Okay, off camera, I added some rhinestones here. Now, I'll hot glue on the remaining three rhinestones. So this is what we have. So either way is really pretty, okay? So let's just set this aside. Now we have our elephant. So what I'm going to do is put some mirror tiles on here. I already put it on this side. Okay, so now I'll just peel off one individual square and put it in place. So I'll just keep adding the mirrors 
until that side is done, then I'll come back. Okay, I'm done adding the mirror tile. Okay, so whenever you're decorating your elephant, it's totally up to you however you do it. You just look at it and you just decide on where you want to accent it. Um, like I said before, I went ahead and added glitter to the entire elephant. I just think that looks better. So now I think on the quilts, I want to highlight this strip here all the way around below it as well. So I'm going to add mirror towel there, even though the mirror towel is wider than those pieces. So again, I'm going to add some glue to secure the mirror towel. So now I'm going to do the same thing here, around here, around here. Once I do that, I'll come back and uh, finish it off. So this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to add some mirror towel to the trunk as well. Now to finish it off, I'm going to accent the ears with more glitter and maybe the toenails and these little things here just to bring those out and maybe even the tail, we'll see. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and brush it on there. Like that. I'll do this side as well. Like I said, I'll accent the toenails and maybe these little tassels in the tail. So once I do that, I'll spray it with some hairspray to set the glitter and we'll be done. Before I go back to the elephant, let me just say this. Now I stacked this particular set of books like this. So you'll be able to stand it up like this if you want to. If you wanted to, you could add some decorative pieces to it at the bottom, like some diamonds or whatever. And also went in with some glitter on this side, but you could definitely use some kind of decorative paper on this side as well if you want to use them as an upright book. You can use this as table decor. It can also be used in your bookcase or any type of shelving unit. So now I'm going to add my elephant. I went ahead and covered up my mirror towel and my rhinestones with tape and then sprayed it with hairspray to set the glitter. I didn't want to have to clean the hairspray off my mirrors. So now I'm going to glue this right on top of here. And I'm also going to use this beautiful diamond. This is glass. I received this from Vanessa. She's one of my YouTube family members. She sent me a box of crafting goodies a while back and I truly appreciate it. And I'm going to add it with my elephant. So I think I want it to angle like this and then have my stone like that. Isn't that cute? I'm going to hot glue it down so that it's not permanent so I can remove it if I want to. If you want to make it permanent, then try using Gorilla Glue. I'm going to glue the diamond on with Fix All Glue because hot glue will make the diamond look cloudy. This is what we have. Now you can add more diamonds to it if you want to or you can just add one piece. So yeah, that's the look of my decor piece and I did it in gold. Here's what the gold set looks like and I absolutely <laughs> love it. I am falling in love with gold all over again. I guess you guys can tell by my latest DIYs, but yeah. But this time I stacked the more pyramid style. And here's a dragonfly that I found at Target that I decorated and then glued it on with hot glue as well. Okay, so here's what the dragonfly looks like without the glitter and the rhinestones. And I found this at Target and it was about $3. Now I'm gonna let the glue completely set up on my diamond and then put them both on display and let you see what they look. And as promised, here's my completed DIY. Here I used three books from Dollar Tree, an elephant from Dollar Tree, and a diamond from a dear friend and created something absolutely beautiful. I think it looks high-end and glam. There are so many different ways that you can recreate this DIY. So you don't have to use an elephant and a diamond and you don't even have to use silver. 
Here's the same DIY in the color gold. And instead of using an elephant, I used a dragonfly that I found at Target. Now you guys know how much I love silver, but this time, the gold one is my favorite. Comment below which one is your favorite and what will you change to make yours look different. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Again, please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.